Hogan. It's 250 degrees in the sun on the moon. How could this footstep have clumped the soil and stuck together without moisture? Green, you're loud and clear. You're at the now July 20th marked the beginning of a new era. Mike Collins, alone in the command module called Columbia, watched as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin undocked the lunar module called Eagle. As the Eagle rotated slowly, Collins inspected it carefully. For now it was time for the descent to the surface of the moon and into history. Fifty thousand feet above the moon, Eagle's descent engine ignited and began the deceleration for landing. As they descended, Armstrong and Aldrin watched the craters and mountains of the moon pass beneath them. the landing radar surface acquisition. Now the crew was flying blind until the slow pitch maneuver brought the lunar horizon to their view. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. Five percent. How many five? Okay, 75 feet. That's looking good, down a half. Pitch forward. 60 seconds. Lights on. Down two and a half. Here they're going horizontally along the moon's surface, being pushed by those top rockets. They should have had rockets on the bottom of that limb, pushing the mass where the jet thruster is. And as they're coming down, you see no opaque smoke coming out of the rocket thrusters, either the top ones or the bottom ones, and we do not see a cloud of dust coming up here. It should have been a horrendous 10,000 pounds of down thrust should have covered that soil there, but we don't see it. We still see the pock marks right there in the soil. It should have put up a tremendous amount of smoke and, uh, and soil. Now look at this shadow of the limb. It's exactly its own length, and notice there's only a couple of white spots within the black of the shadow. Now here's the famous picture of the limb on the moon's surface with no crater blown beneath it at all, nothing. The rocks and pebbles are all still there. That definitely upsets people who investigate the moon. What should have happened was this NASA photo of a tremendous dust storm. It should have obscured everything. Now look at this shadow. The limb is exactly its own length here, and look at the internal shadow, the white spots. I want you to re roll your film back after this and check this shadow out again, because you're going to see some very... Now, see that shadow? See how it changed? The white light in the middle? That could not possibly have happened within seconds. And we're getting a picture on the TV. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The 
lamp foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. There it is again, the wrong shadow. Look at your original shadow. That one small step for man should have been made on rock and not on soil that clumped. It should have been blown away and there should have been a crater beneath that rocket. how well lit he was in that shadow and look how the shadow of this astronaut is almost three times his length the Lem shadow was one and it was time for all them to join him he's lit up like Disneyland on the dark side with no atmosphere how come plant the flag of the United States in the lunar soil, we perhaps wondered what dream dreamt today by what impractical dreamer will be tomorrow's reality. This video is what first made people believe we didn't go to the moon. You can see right through the astronauts as if they were ghosts. It appears to be superimposed and not real. of exploration, aliens on a distant world. And strangely enough, they looked as if they belonged there. And here's that famous photo again. They're on the moon. You can see 
that the uh, the ghost in that picture has no camera. He should have been totally clear. And he's about 18 feet away. And the camera is being taken from a down angle above the astronaut. That's impossible with a camera on the chest of the man taking the picture. You have approximately three minutes until you must commence your EVA termination activity. Over. Roger, understand. It was now time to leave the dusty lunar plane, stow the experiment, samples, and photographs to be returned to Earth. Verified secure. Next, jettison the now useless equipment, clean house in the Eagle, and rest for the next day's liftoff and rendezvous. All right, I found a strange phenomena in this takeoff. The foreground at the lower left-hand side never seems to move, although they're taking off straight up. They shouldn't be taking off on a horizontal line. Now watch that crater and down at the lower left-hand corner in the light. It doesn't move. It doesn't change in size. Just the top seems to be moving. And they should be taking off up to 50,000 feet straight up, not on some type of horizontal movement. Now you can see how clear the lower left-hand corner is. It stays clear. It st seems to stay basically the same distance away. The top just seems to be flowing into the center of this picture. And you can still see it absolutely as clear, absolutely the same distance away down on the bottom. And they should be going straight up. And what is that white thing that just went across? Then, following rendezvous procedures developed through Gemini and Apollo, Eagle drew nearer and nearer to Columbia. watched the eagle's climb, its flashing beacon of friendly signal. For hours he had kept his vigil. Now his companions were returning. thrusters firing, Eagle and Columbia moved together for docking, the last movement of their lunar duet. Charles Pete Conrad, Richard Gordon, Alan Bean. Apollo 12 lifted off in the driving rain. Pete Conrad reports that your program is in. 